Hey everybody, how are you all doing? It's your boy Red05, back at it again with WWE 2K17. And oh, what a match I have lined up for you tonight. Not a hell in a cell this time. It is a fatal four way between the four best friends cheering in me, who is in the hell in a cell with him, Joshua Adams, and Tyler Sod out. Now, some of you may be wondering, why why isn't Force 10 been fighting in a while? Well, I can show you that now, and that is what I'm going to do. So this is how he got injured. He had some bones dislocated, so he's took some time off for a month. But Tyler's fired up and wants an opportunity. And I will explain that a bit later after you have seen this clip. So here it is. OK, so this is how Tyler got injured. There's a backstage brawl. And there wasn't even a match. That's why Tyler hasn't really been in action lately. And as you can see, Pink Sheep just smashing the chair off him. Just relentlessly. And as you know, these two have a right feud. And Pink Sheep was taking no mercy on Tyler. And as you can see, this is what he was looking for next. A huge power bomb, but Tyler had the strength to fight out of it. And a big uppercut. It was just all chaos in the backstage. And Tyler threw him into the office. And a big leg drop there. Tyler throwing some right hands and throwing him at the wall. And now Tyler trying to get revenge and hitting him with a chair. But Pink Sheep got back up and slammed it off of his face. And Tyler was still fighting back. And Pink Sheep going for a suplex, but Tyler reversing it. Tyler threw him at the door. And Tyler has got beat a lot of times off Pink Sheep. And this was maybe revenge. And a DDT did break the table a bit there. Pink Sheep was still fighting back though. It was just back and forth. Pink Sheep thrown outside. And a big uppercut and Pink Sheep knocked off his feet. Big knee right in the head there. And a knee right at the back. Pink Sheaf, we're gonna close in in a big DDT there. And Pink Sheep was not holding back. And he was looking big, maybe second time's a charm here. And second time is a charm. And Pink Sheep absolutely placed Tyler through that table. And Tyler started to feel loads of pain and his limbs were broken and his arms were torn. And Pink Sheep started relentlessly hitting him with a chair right off the back. And just right to the back of the head. And Tyler absolutely laid out. And this was the finish and touch the DDT. And that put Tyler away. He was knocked out. And several bones were broken. So that is what has happened to Tyler. Now he is back in action though. As you can see, Ping Shi delivering some devastating moves like getting power bomb through the table and hit with a chair. But Tyler did try to fight back, but didn't go well from did it. So but this thing so 
see if I won the Hell in a Cell, right? If I won the Hell in a Cell and Michael beat me to get my title, Michael would go in a match against Joshua Adams, Tyler Stoddart, who is coming out now. Here he is. There's Tyler, as you can see, checking his right arm. Which is also very bad because he hits a Superman punch, but he still has the strength to punch it into the floor. So, if Michael beat me, if I won the Hell in a Cell, then Michael go to defend his title at the next pay-per-view, or maybe even after, like the Hell in a Cell, against Tyler Sutter, Joshua Adams, and Jay Etherington. But if I won the Hell in a Cell and beat Michael, I would go defend my title in a field forward against Jay Etherington, Joshua Adams, and Tyler Sutter. So no matter what, Tyler Sutter and Joshua Adams are in it. But also, if Jay won the Hell in a Cell and beat Michael, he would defend his title against me and Joshua Adams and Tyler Sutter. So it'll make sense. So even say Popper and MMOs won, and beat Michael, then it might just be a triple threat match with Popper MMOs and Joshua Adams and Tyler Stoddart. But here he is. But you'll see how it goes when the Hell in a Cell comes around. But Hell in a Cell is about two weeks away, so we don't have long left. And I need some suggestions for matches, so if you're not in the Hell in a Cell main event, like, match, and you want a match, then comment down below who you want to verse, and I will put you two or three or four or five in a match. So, the tension is building up. We only have Joshua Adams to come out of the ring. Here he is. So, what is this match gonna mean for that man there, Tyler Stoddart? Is he, he will, won't be 100% fit, but he's gonna come into this match determined to win. And it's not for the title or anything, it's just a match. Tyler with the loop there's press me with a sidewalk back break at Josh. Josh line back into the ring. Throwing me out the ring with humiliating strength. Josh and Jay, the Titans in this match. Me and Tyler. Well, um, I think Tyler's slightly taller than me. I don't exactly know. Doesn't really matter if it is, but we're definitely smaller than Jay and Josh. Like two big ones and two small ones. Yeah, that's my uh, Newcastle slang. I mean, I'm not from Newcastle, but I just speak Geordie. Big DDT from Josh there. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, lads. And a knee right at the back of the head from Josh. And Josh taking it all to me. But Jay with, oh, a big clothesline to Tyler there. But a Luthers press from me fighting back. Jay's picked Tyler up. Great suplex there. Some elbows from Josh. Elbow at the forehead from Josh. Oh, jawbreaker from Jay. Whoa, nice reversal from me. A right hand right at the nose. And just throwing Josh out the ring. Josh, it's been thrown in the ring, but rolling back out. But Tyler's got Jay on his shoulders, and 
Tyler straight off the bat with an F5. Tyler using great strength to lift the big man up and he's got me on his shoulders. But a scorpion death drop and look at Jay already on his feet. But look at that, Jay just got straight back up. And an elbow, oh my God. A right hand from Jay and the two Titans in the ring and Josh, belly to back suplex. Great strength and Josh is going high. What is Josh looking for here? No. Oh, a frog splash. The five star pug splash. Jay just kicked out with two. He's been hit with an F5 and a five star pug splash. Jay. And Tyler with a Superman punch to me, busting me open. And Jay's tripped Tyler off. I'm getting back up to my feet here. Jay raising his right arm and a right hand. Oh, a big clothesline. Just waste no time going for me, and we will be doing this in the Hell in the Cell, so I better get used to it. Spine buster from Jay. Absolutely great strength from Jay, but I've just kicked him back with double legs. Double the strength. I think I was going to do a springboard there, but Tyler getting him out the ring, and now me with a scorpion death drop. Got him in my legs, like a pit viper or a python. And Josh is going up the top turnbuckle. Superman punch from me, cross body from Josh. Perfect timing from Josh, didn't get the full of it, but he's trying to steal one on the weak Tyler. And Jay's just taking the referee out. I think he missed Josh. And the referee is down. And at this point, anyone could do anything. They could hit a low blow when the referee's not looking. But again, great timing from Josh there. Me hitting Tyler with a Superman punch. He hit me with that before. And then Josh faces an F5. And Jay's put me in like the guillotine. And I've rolled out of it, but Jay was quicker with a suplex and I've reversed that. Northern Light suplex. Jay's out the ring. And I've got Tyler and I've thrown him out the ring. Now Josh is getting up to his feet. Me and Josh are both going for Tyler. But Josh stabbing me in the back. Now he's targeting me. Ooh, kick to the hip. And a right hand from Tyler there. Me and Tyler going at it. Remember the rivalry me and Tyler's had over the over the course of the the year. Me and Tyler's been in title matches, opportunities. What am I doing now? Ooh! Tyler couldn't beat me before. He was the first person to face me for the title, I think. I don't know, but sadly couldn't put me away. And Jay's looking for a spear here. Jay and Tyler, Josh and Tyler are nowhere to be found. And Tyler's just sitting in the ring. But a power bump from Jay. The referee, what? Oh, didn't even get the one count. Bloody hell, man. Josh has picked me up. But I've hit Josh with a power bomb. Oh! Jay! Doesn't realize. One, two, three, and that's it. And I have just pinned Josh with a power bomb. Didn't even need to put him in a Boston Crab there. And I just stole that from everyone. Just look at these highlights, five-star Pug Splash. 
and Jay just kicked out at this point. I wasn't gonna get that in time. Superman punch. This was what I really liked from Josh. The timing was perfect. But this replay has shown us all. This was when Jay took out the referee. Smart strategy, but he didn't even mean to do it. Power bomb from Jay to Tyler. This was the closer moments. And that was my power bomb to Josh. Jay and Tyler didn't even realize. Tyler was like knocked out cold by them elbows. And three, and that would be it. But I, what does this mean for me? Am I building confidence after this win? Is Jay building confidence even though he didn't win? It was a great match, lads, if you're watching. Unlucky to Josh, unlucky all of yours. But I guess Tyler will have to wait and recover a bit more before he's in true form because we know how ruthless and brutal Tyler can get. And that's how he wins matches. So, like I said, am I building confidence for this Hell in the Cell match? Which is only about two weeks away. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this fill full way. Like I said, if you want to match a Hell in the Cell, leave a comment da down below. The first five people to comment which match they want to be in, then they do it because I only do about six matches. So, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment, as I said, for what I've just said. Um, hit the, turn the bell on for notifications so you get notified when I upload. Stay safe, stay awesome, have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video of mine. Peace out, guys. Goodbye.